In the book Vision and Communism, the art historian Robert Byrd and his co-editors claimed that for some artists, socialist realism was not a restriction, but an opportunity to demonstrate how, quote, freedom had become the liberation from having to measure the image against any notion of reality. To Byrd, socialist realists were not trying to depict the communism they saw directly in front of them. They knew the revolution they wanted to celebrate, no matter what the Soviet state claimed, was not yet within their reach and therefore was still unrepresentable. That although they wanted to look towards these ideals, the reality in which they had achieved them was still so far in the future as to be impossible to imagine. In other words, these artists might have been charged with producing propaganda, but what they painted or sculpted or created were not idealized versions of their current reality. They were imperfect images that evoked the perfect unknown. A partial vision of the revolutionary future they believed was coming but could barely glimpse. It's about looking beyond. It's about a metonym. It's a figure of speech in which an object or concept is referred to not by its own name, but by the name of something intimately associated with it. It substitutes what is small and material for what is grand and abstract. Say tit and you might mean milk or even a whole woman. Say ear and I might lend you one or bend it. Say finger and I could fuck you. Barbara Browning always talks about how metonyms are just meaty like that. A metonym is an invocation. It's what happens when you take metaphors so far that it becomes performative. It literally does something in the world. Like when I say the word shoe, a shoe could form inside my mouth. And when I say street, the whole street could end up in my mouth and it would be difficult for me to pronounce it. A metonym is partial. It means you never know what might follow. Realism can be beautiful, but metonym is what makes you view a dagger and a hairpin as equivalent and interchangeable. Both might be symbols, but their sharpness is real. <laughs>